welcome TCL fans. I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and this week the New England Chargers are facing off against the Nawahata Hoppers. And of course, they brought a very scary team. Uh pretty much everything I was scared of, so this at least we'll be prepared for it, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and lead off uh easy bait because he does not have a ground type, so I'll either get to a uh, volt switch or overheat on something. And um our game plan is to sweep with Heracross. I mean, Her I don't know why I said Heracross. Is to try to sweep with Metagross. Uh, of course, the Moongus is here for uh, Age of Slash if it's special. Um, Tapu Koko. Uh, Crocorock's also a good uh, Age of Slash answer and also a good sweeper. Galissapod is going to be a problem. So good luck, have fun, misery, and we will get into this now. Let's see what we can fire off with. I'm really hoping I can just bolt switch my way to victory this game. Oh, yes. I mean, first impression is going to hit, but it's not going to hurt. So I'm going to go ahead and just bolt switch right away. And I don't know why I left Nasty Plot on here. Um, I mean, I guess if we want to max it, we can. It's not a legendary. So, we're going to hit something hard with Bolt Switch. And here is interesting, because we have Initiative. So, we can just go straight to... We can go to Croc Rock and just hit. Or we can go to Fun Guy and put it to sleep. Um, I'm going to go Croc Rock to keep the offensive pressure. If he King Shields, that's fine. I'm, I'll just knock off again. We are Assault Vest, so if this thing is special, which I doubt it, it's probably going to be physical. Um, at least we'll be good off on it. Um, I'm going to, like I said, go for the knockoff. I mean, a Sacred Sword will hurt. I don't know if it'll knock us out, though. We aren't Intimidate, because I figured might as well just go Moxie. So we're going to go ahead and knock it off, and it's dead. Okay, so that's a one threat gone. Safety Goggles. Oh, good thing we didn't go uh, Among Us, because we were going <laughs> to we were gonna try to spore it there. Oh, man. So I guess he knew that was our best check to it. So we are plus one. We could be bluffing Scarf. He's going to go Skunk Tank. I'm going to go ahead and just go Skull Shot here. Get the speed boost. Because we want to be faster than Tapu Koko. So one, two, three, four... Five. All right, beautiful. So let's see how much damage this thing can do to us here. If it's a special attacker, oh yeah, we're we're, we're trapped in with this thing. I'm cool with that. And now we just go for earthquake, and I think we just hit everything with earthquake aside from Galissapod. Because, uh, I mean, I was thinking about Protect, but I thought the coverage would be better. And I'm going to go ahead and see if we could live a first impression from Galissapod. Galissapod Revenge Killer versus Crocodile with a lot of investment. Yeah, first impression, Okos. Adamant, max attack, first impression, Okos. So we can't stay in on that. And unlike last week, we're not going to stay greedy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to Easy Bake. Because then we could just Volt Switch again. I doubt he goes for Liquidation. If he doesn't go for first impression, then kind of sucks. But I, I'm sure he has it. First impression. There we go. 
So now I'm going to go for the bolt switch once again. Yeah, definitely going for the bolt switch. Probably goes to... Uh... Oh, okay. So who gets initiative here? Okay, so he has to swap in first, right? All right, so what is he going to go to? Because we are out of here. So now he goes Tapu Koko. All right, he gets the electric surge off. We can go straight to Metagross and Max, which isn't a bad idea. Oh, no, we're stuck in here. I guess we just got a bolt switch again. And then we'll just go straight to, uh, okay, he's going to bolt switch, which is kind of weird. So he's Scarf. He's Scarf Tapu Koko. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so the Lissapod's coming back in. So he might try to get the kill with the... Uh, what do you call it? He might try to come back in and get the kill with Tapu Koko. So Tapu Koko. Stay modest. Versus a Metagross. In electric terrain. Yeah, we live uh, no matter what. Ooh, but this thing... Can we live a hit from this thing? I mean, we could live a knockoff. So, I think we're fine. I'm going to go agility. Oh, that's jolly, though. Nope, he's probably adamant. Okay, so that was kind of a misplay. Or, the, or banded. Nope, life orb. Why didn't I put life orb? I'm such an idiot. Okay. So I'm going to go to Gemma here. And I'm going to Trick Room. Because I don't know why I thought I would live that. Okay. Here we go. Trick Room. I don't think this thing gets a Steel type move. Probably does. And I'm probably going to get demolished. Is this where I threw the battle? But I could have just maxed. Oh, triple axle missed, but it wasn't going to do much. So we're going to go ahead and get our trick room up. Now we're faster than everything. And I go power gym here. Not meteor beam. I almost accidentally put meteor beam and that would have sucked because I do not have power herb on this thing. Because we are max defense, so triple axle to Deancey. I mean, it would have did half. No, potentially half. So yeah, about half, but we're faster than everything. Uh, only thing that could live a hit is Blastoise, and he could still Dynamax that thing. That's, that's one thing we do got to worry about. So Tapu Koko comes in. This we can just Earth Power. He does get the Electric Surge back up. It's Scarf though, so we're going to outspeed under Trick Room. We still got three more turns. So Earth Power. Surprised he didn't try to go uh, Blastoise there and Max. Ooh, Tapu Koko just lives just barely. Oh, Iron Head. Nice move. But now Amoongus gets to get two kills.
Amoongus comes in, and it's time to sweep this game. So we're going to go Max Quake to get the uh, defense boost. Because, I mean, Shell Smash Blastoise is still a problem it, if it can get it up. And Amoongus goes big for the second time this season. Alright, so we get our special defense boost. Coco goes down. Another kill for the Amoongus. There's Fungus Amoongus, and he wants blood. He took that uh, draft recap to heart. And he said, I am here to end games. What you mean? I'm not worth to be a first round pick. I'm going to laugh if I get like the most kills ever with Amoongus this season. Cause I'm already, I was already at three, and then I, I'm getting uh, these two here. Or I should be getting these two here, depending on how if this Max Blastoise can blow us out of the water or not. But I do believe this is our last turn of Trick Room, so if he could two shot us, I mean, then we're not out of the water yet, so to speak. Oh, he doesn't Max. All right, so he just gave up the game. Oh, Blastoise still going to live. So, Max would have definitely lived to hit. Grass covered the field. Oh, he's going to Shell Smash. Smart. I mean, it's not over yet. He could still, he could still win this. Dimensions return back to normal. We do have that special defense boost. So maybe that'll be enough. We are pretty, pretty specially defensive. Wow, he didn't even have a scarf on Coco. And it still outsped Scarf Rotom. Can we live a hit? Max L Storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. And this hit should uh, kill. Blastoise here. He forgot to max guard because we are typing back and forth. And Blastoise goes down to the Among Us. GG to Misery. And we get our second win of the season here in week three. Thank you guys for watching. And we will keep the Among Us wreckage going. <laughs> See you guys next time.